What I would like to do with this video, because I'm a discussion channel, is create a space for discussion around the new VR chat ranked system. And also some similarities I'm seeing right now with the conversation around it, versus say even like the League community, as a matter of fact. So with that being said, what I'm going to do in this video is kind of describe the pros and cons I've seen around the discussion around the new ranked system that is coming to live this week in VR chat. And then maybe also, hopefully, again, create an environment where people can, even if they disagree, have a rather civil conversation about what they feel the system will and will not do. Now, for me personally, I will try and keep my own opinion out of it. I am not too well known and a huge force or member inside the VR chat community as it is. If I even seem vaguely familiar, that might be because possibly you've caught me around in Kimple Cinema as Monokuma, as a matter of fact. I cannot do the voice though, so please don't ask me to do the voice. If I could do his voice, I would just make videos all the time doing misadventures with that voice. That would actually be pretty fun. With that being said, let's jump into some of the changes. I'll start with the pros first, because for example, a streamer I watch quite regularly is Kimple. And with these changes, they've been the most happy I think I've ever seen them literally ever in all the months now that I've been watching them stream. And pretty much the changes kind of work like this. Depending on how long you've played, say, VR chat and some other factors like how many worlds you've made, how many friends that you have that are also trusted, and things like that, you get a certain rank. You know, if you're like a new player, you get like a visitor rank. If you're just a new player but you've been playing for a little bit, you'll get like a new rank. You'll get like a trusted rank, a veteran rank if you've been playing for a long time, and things like that. And so for someone like Kimple or some of the more OG players, in which case back before VR chat blew up in let's say like December of last year, 2017, you could go to Public Worlds a lot more often and it'd be a lot more safer to go to whether you streamed or even if you didn't stream. Now that there wasn't cons back then, possible trolls and such too, but not to the extent that there is now, to the point the idea of going to a public world is thought to be taboo, right? Back then, you could do that more often, meet people more often, make friends more often through that way, and it was all great. Now, because of things like, you know, harassment and stuff, that's not really a good idea, especially if you stream. Speaking of Kimple, why I brought them up is they tried to stream... I believe it was back in July or June of this year, of course, but like they went to a world, it was public or friends plus at best, and then a couple other streamers were there. Some other people tried to stream snipe them by spamming racial slurs to try and get them banned. Fortunately, they evacuated in time and nothing really happened from that, but that is a thing that you have to kind of worry about now in public worlds. I've, my brief adventures in public worlds myself have been met with similar experiences. So, with that being said, I can kind of understand, you know, the idea of wanting to be able to go back to public worlds. And a thing that maybe some people don't understand that this is something that's been requested that VR Chat try and address and do is handle the situation about not being able to go to public worlds anymore. Because once it blew up back in 2017, and you know the game kind of blew up in popularity, there's been a large influx of players and stuff that came in, and as such, it's made it so that there are things like trolls and stuff and things in public worlds that are volatile that people just don't want to deal with, or if they're streaming, don't want to risk getting banned for from someone else saying something bad or stupid or terrible. So on you know the OG side and the pro side, what I'm seeing is with this ranked system, what you can basically do is when you go to a new world, if someone's trying to stream snipe you on an account that's pretty much marked as like a visitor or like a new user, you can kind of mute them possibly just ban them before you even get into the world and stuff like that and as such they won't be a thing you can ban their model so if they're using a really offensive model or something like that uh, their model will come up as one of like the default gray models I believe it is and as such you can kind of control now what experience you have when you go into public worlds the people you meet and as such the other people you get to meet that aren't those bad people that are those fans or something that would wish they could meet their favorite VR chat streamers but no they can't because they're all you know in private worlds that are invite only and because they don't know people they don't know them prior they're probably never gonna get a chance to get invited to those worlds and as such they're never gonna get to meet those people and on the flip side of the coin streamers that kind of like the interaction they can have with their fans through that right there's some streamers that are bummed out that they can't go to public worlds and possibly either meet new people or meet people they haven't met before that are fans of theirs because they're gated behind you know an invite only instance or something like that this is something that does address that and possibly aims to fix that and for some people why it's so much of a pro that they you know are so happy about it is because that's maybe all they really want out of VR chat because of the old days and because of how much you know happiness and just excitement and fun and creativity can happen when you go to public worlds meet new people go on misadventures and stuff like that with these people and then eventually make longtime friends afterwards right because that was it was a, it was a two-way street of like 
sadness when that kind of was the thing that was kind of lost because of the state of public worlds. And so this was a thing that was asked for in case people weren't aware. This is something that, you know, they're trying to address. Is this solution perfect? Possibly not. And I'll get into the cons in a second that people are talking about. But one of the things I also just kind of want to address is because, you know, some of the conversation around this topic has been, you know, the people that are very pro about it. Maybe if you disagree and you think there are possibly some cons about it, maybe part of your, you know, defensiveness around your opinion too is that you're seeing some of your favorite VR chat streamers who you look up to and respect also not so kindly telling people that they need to kind of shut up if they disagree that this is nothing but a pro and so that can be maybe a little bit you know discouraging or saddening just because you respected these people and now it feels very polarizing you're either for or against and there's no gray areas whatsoever and as such maybe you know that could also be a thing too maybe there are pros and cons but i also think we have to wait for this to hit live before we can really discern that kind of stuff i use that word wrong but you know what word i was trying to use when i said that wrong so i'm just going to keep rolling on the con side, some people are worried that the rank system will create a hierarchy of people who will not hang out with other people unless they are like a trusted or veteran or something like that. And I don't want to invalidate that argument myself. Like I said, I want to keep my own uh, opinion out of this, but I will say I feel like that might already exist as it is. So if this does, you know, create that kind of a thing, it isn't something that hasn't already existed. And I'm not saying it doesn't need to be addressed, perhaps, but it isn't something that is like a brand new problem that this will be creating. Some other people, meanwhile, are feeling like this could create new problems, and it depends then how you feel about do the pros outweigh the cons between maybe possible hackers and stuff trying to find a way to get around this system. And maybe they won't, right? Like maybe VR chat, like other people, are also aware that this can possibly be a thing, so they're also keeping a close eye on it. At the same time, some people, their fears stem from something like that instead. People finding a way to hack around something and maybe make themselves a veteran user, invade a world, a public world or something, and then still cause the same mischief that's been going on. It does seem like you would have to create a lot more, you know, jump through a lot more hoops to pull that off though, versus now where you could just create a new account and try and stream snipe someone in a public world. So I guess I will weigh in a little bit. I think a little bit of it is just what you want out of these changes, right? If you're someone like Kimple or like one of the OG people that are just very adamant about these changes being good because of the positive th things that they bring outweigh the cons for you, then it's a good change. But if you're someone who's legitimately worried about hackers and stuff like that, then I guess you're more maybe on the fence 50-50 skeptical but optimistic and that's one of the things i want to touch on too real quick one person for example was kind of like skeptical but they were overall optimistic they overall were like you know what i do think there are possibly problems and cons with this system but overall i think they solve a lot of problems and is actually a great system it's just not a, a flawless system and that's something i want to kind of uh on to kind of end the video a little bit on it's something that you might have heard of them too uh joey bagels aka nags also, uh, kind of a little bit made a statement on this isn't verbatim, by the way, so don't take what I'm about to say as what they said exactly, and then go like harass them or something like that. Please don't. This video is not really like a hit piece or a someone's right, someone's wrong piece. So if, if that's the takeaway from this video, and then I failed in making this video, so I apologize. But something they said was basically like this: they think there are solutions that are being, you know, given with this system. They do think there are problems that will come with this system. But one of the things they said that I thought was kind of interesting that I hadn't really seen anyone else really take this, uh, you know, angle on was, but it shows VR chat they're trying to listen. They're trying to address some of the problems that the community has. Maybe they need to listen a bit more often, but also the community maybe needs to respect the fact that this is their attempt to try something, right? It probably won't be perfect, but they are at least being like, hey, this is something that people are, you know, having a problem with. We're, we're trying something. This system exists because something had to change, something had to be done. And as such, I thought that was kind of an interesting kind of a thing because once like the respect goes away, the civil part of the conversation goes away, it kind of devolves into people yelling at each other to see whose voice is louder. And that's probably not what anyone wants out of this, right? The people that are like, for this and they're, they're pro, they're like all in for this, aren't really like against the people that are saying it's cons, right? They're not against the idea that there could be cons for the system. It's just that they, again, their experience, that what they want out of it is higher than those cons. And on the flip side, the people with the cons, maybe they're feeling like their voice is getting silent and kind of like closed off by the people that are saying them, for them to quote unquote kindly uh, shut up and stuff. And so that might be creating a bit more of a bumping heads than the change in itself. So that's also why I'm making this video. So we can have a civil conversation around it, a place where people can have disagreements, but hopefully maybe open each other's eyes on things that maybe they did or didn't see. I do have my own opinion on it, but no one cares, so I'm not putting it in this video. 
hopefully now you have a little bit of understanding about both sides of the argument, what people are afraid of, what people are super happy for, and as such, the rank system in general. If you have kind of heard about it but didn't know too much about it and you were looking it up, you should also go check out people like, you know, Kimple and Joey Bagels and all those guys as well. By the way, that's kind of why I name dropped them in this video, so that way you can, you know, you can go check them out as well. But with that being said, Thank you so much for watching this video. In the comment section down below, make sure you know we can have a discussion about this. I'm not necessarily trying to lead the discussion on this, but again, as a discussion channel, I felt like it was kind of necessary then to make a video about this. As someone that watches a lot of VR chat, interacts with people, talks to people, and things like that within the game and whatnot. So hopefully this will serve that purpose more so than anything else. If you felt like I've misrepresented you or didn't, you know, talk about your angle correctly, by all means, either make a response. You can call it out. I'm perfectly okay with that. that. I'll take no offense to that. I do not know everything about these changes more so than anything else. I wanted to make a discussion. So by all means, if, if that's what you get from this video, you want to kind of address what I've said in this video, that's totally okay, by the way. So with that being said, that is all for this video, though. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. But I don't know which video will be next, because life can have a lot of kinks. So until next time, take care. GG, get jinxed. Thank you for watching, and enjoy pizza responsibly.